latest shooting happening a short time ago in Opelika. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward just got to the scene. Larry, tell us what you've found out so far. So, Elliot, we are about 10 blocks east of Opalaka Airport. This is Southwest 27th Street behind me. You can see that black car behind me over the shoulder, the rear passenger window. Take a look at that. Someone was sitting in that seat when a bullet came through that glass. And right now, as we speak, I don't know if you can hear it, but there is a helicopter. The Miami-Dade Police Department, their officers, as long as well as Opalaka, they are searching an area just south of here near Burlington Street where there are railroad tracks. That is where this shooting happened. I want to show you some video from a short time ago, paramedics taking the victim who is 12 years old, according to his family, away to a hospital. We saw him standing. He had a patch on his neck. We're told he was grazed by glass. According to his aunt, his mother had just left the aunt's house with her. The mother had two children, her 12-year-old in the back seat. As they crossed the railroad tracks north on Northwest 27th Street, they heard glass shatter. The mom heard her son scream out in pain. Some of the glass cut his neck. Uh, they did not find a bullet, but they knew that it was a shot fired. They stopped here on Northwest 27th Street, called for police. Again, the victim was taken to the hospital. He was alert. He was, he's conscious and breathing. But here's what his aunt told us a short time ago. So I just got a phone call from my sister saying that, you know, she just left my house and she was heading home. And she said when she crossed the railroad track, she heard a pop. And then she heard her son scream. And when her son looked back, he was like, my neck is bleeding. So she instantly thought that he got hit. But it was the glass from the windshield that burst and cut him like really bad in the back of the neck. So she was able to kind of slow down right here and call rescue. But it went in this side and it came out on the other side. Back here live, you're looking at that bullet hole that is in that rear passenger window. According to that mom, her son was leaning forward at the time. Had he been sitting further back, he could have been hit by that bullet. Again, Opalaka police handling this investigation as well as Miami-Dade police right now looking for that potential shooter, shooting suspect. We'll get more information. We'll bring that to you for now. We're live in Opalaka. Larry C. with CBS News, Miami.